we have to be proud of Epping 60 or 70 mm -hmm. and say, hey, I'm the new 60 and this is what 60 is. Yeah. And so then people go, oh, they kind of get a different image. The elephant in the room, right? Ageism yeah. in America. Right, right. Big time. <laughs> Let's talk about that a little well, bit. Well, it's everywhere. A lot of it's in our language. Most of it's in our imagery. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see people 50 plus in marketing and advertising messages, they're kind of walking slowly into the sunset, holding hands, and, you know, it's sort of the big end. <laughs> and, you know, there are all these 60 somethings who are tech savvy, buying Teslas, you know, running marathons, you know, taking exotic trips. And those images are what we need to have in our in our messaging. Yeah. So there's there's going to be a reckoning because the 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 baby boomer who's redefined everything is now smack in the middle of this stage. Yes. And they're rejecting a lot of these things including brand loyalty stuff because they're changing brands, you know, at 50, 60, 70. And so yeah. All of that leads to self-imposed ageism, which, make, which makes people say, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm too old for this, I'm too old for that. And that is all brought on by ourselves because of the cultural signals we get. Mm -hmm. And so we have to shake that up.